Hey guys, this is CL100 Able, and um, I just recently made up to 4 million upload views with thanks to you guys, and I couldn't have done it better without you. And um, as you can tell, you've, um, you'll finally, um, you finally got to see um, um, my entire desktop on this computer. And um, yeah. I have here some games and um internet browsers and um everything else like that. And yes, and to celebrate um um to celebrate this um this special, I'm just going to make a tutorial video on how to um get the old humongous entertainment games working on Windows Vista and 7. So, here we go. The first method we'll do is um, running the Humongous Entertainment Games in Scum VM, and I would recommend that program because um, because um, it's just um, it's just at least the best thing to use when it comes to running Humongous Entertainment Games on Windows 7, except for the games from um, from 1999 to 2003. And, um, the games from 1999 to 2003 work on Windows Vista and 7. So, um, go to Google and type in Scum VM. And, um, go to, um, the Scum VM website. And choose Downloads. And then you have to choose the Windows Installer. Because, um, you might always want, um, the Windows version of the emulator. And you're taking the Source Force for the download link. Source Force, I meant. And, um, and you'll download, you'll be able to download the file, um, somewhere, like in my documents folder. And, um, click the Save button. And, um, as you can tell, by by your screen, um, um, the file is downloading right now for a half a minute. And um, um, there's a few seconds left. Yeah, and once the download is complete, you'll have to and you'll have to install Scum VM, and I already have it installed since last year. And um, okay, and open up Scum VM after you install it, and select Add Game, and um, choose a location of um of um a game. And, um, um, first you have to copy the game files to, um, your folder, just in case you want, um, you want to, um, have, um, want to use, want to have quick processing of running the games in Scum VM. And, I'm using Putt Putt Saves the Zoo for this method. Just, um, create a folder of the game of the same name and put all the game files in the folder and it's at least gonna take a while a little while actually and it's now taking about a minute for the files to copy so um so yeah you'll just have to do this for um for quick processing of writing the games in Scum VM, and um, okay, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I just had to check the recorder to see if the video is recording on Camtasia. That's the software I'm using for um, for um recording videos on my computers. And there's a, about a, a minute left right now. 
and there's seconds to go, as you can see by the screen. So, 20 and 15 seconds left now. Okay, and the files are almost done copying to the folder. Okay, and um, uh, once you copied all the files to your folder, um, find the location of um, the folder. Um, find it on find the desktop on the C drive. I think. And, um... Hmm... Well, um... Let me... Hang on, let me see... What I should do. Okay, go to Users... And, um... Okay... And find the folder, and yeah, I will click the choose button, and um, I already have um this game imported to um this console, so I'm just gonna click cancel, and um, okay, um, yes, and once you imp once you import the game to the console, you can click the start button to run the game. So we'll just only watch the intro. Right here. Fill your tank, save the zoo. Get in fast, save the zoo. Check your tires, save the zoo. And go get cabin, save the zoo. Putt putt, save the zoo. Putt putt, save the zoo. Putt putt, you've got to save the zoo. Putt putt, save the zoo. Putt putt, save the zoo. Yeah. save the zoo. All right, I just had to exit the pro exit the game, and um, all right, and there you go. That's how you um do um run the Humongous Entertainment Games in Scum VM. So it's time for method two. Now the second method is that um is that um you can just um run the games off the executable files without using emulators. And I have the nineteen ninety six version of Puppet Saves Zoo again this folder like I showed you in my first method and um some people recommend this method but um like I said I would recommend um my first method in this video like uh like you saw already and um you can just um you can just um um okay what should i do now um yeah just um delete the exe file um if you get um this error and just delete the file and um change from Draw you 32 to, um, putsu.exe. And, yeah. Let me run it for a sec. Okay, and it's running now. I already showed you the intro, so I'm just gonna quit this. Sorry about that error. And, yeah. Um, you can... And that's how you do that. Um, the steps are, um, copy the game files from, um, your disk into a folder, and, um, delete the exe file, and, um, rename the file used in Windows 3.1 from putsu to, um, um, dot 32 to, um, putsu.exe. And I demonstrated this for an example, and, um, I'm now just gonna, um, I'm just now gonna try, um, this method for the Humongous Classic, so hang on one sec as I'll, um, put in, um, 
putting um my this ready humongous classics collection and okay let's go to the, my computer screen now you can watch the bar from here Yes, and um, open the folder, and okay. Um, for example, um, let's um, let's do Papa joins the parade, and okay. Once again, copy the files from their CD drive, and um, um, put it in the folder. of the same name of the game and yeah paste the files and I use scum VM for better processing of running the humongous entertainment games on um Windows 7 and delete the exe file and um Change it to, um, um, from puppet.w32 to puppet.exe. So, yeah, in order to get the actual game working, here's what you need to do. Um, go to the system folder and, um, head into WinG and, um, um, copy some of the WinG, um, files into um into um um C uh Windows and um um SysWow sixty four and put the files in there and don't copy don't copy don't copy um just if you get this error just if, if you get these things. Um, let me search. Right here. And, yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Let me check to see if the game works on here. Yeah, it's running. And... You just can't get any sound from here because um because um it's just a way on the way how Windows 7 is programmed and that's just for some reason though but um I would recommend Scum VM for um in order to get the sound for the game. So Okay, there you go. That'll be it for this tutorial video, and, um, thank you for four, um, million upload views, because it's awesome, and, um, and, um, and, um, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos, and comment and rate, so, goodbye, everybody, and that's about it, and see you in my next Let's Play, so, that's about it.